my next guest, known to millions for his roles in shows like Outnumbered and Not Going Out, and of course, as a panellist on Mock the Week. Hugh, how are you? Uh, you know, I'm good. I'm very good. How oh, are it's you? really, I'm good. It's really nice to see you. I watched the show and I got the, I got Ryanair. I got Did it. You? <laughs> yeah, I know you had to repeat it a few times, and everybody else got it. But it's it's so different now, isn't it? Because it seems to be the studio has got an awful lot of perspex. Well, we're all every panelist has got a kind of a wall of perspex around him. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, the temptation to go cashier number one, please, every two or three minutes is <laughs> is almost overwhelming. I, I but it, it, it seems to work all right. Yeah. yeah, it does. It really does. I mean, to be honest, you don't really notice it after the first couple of minutes. It just feels like you know, the new normal, as everybody keeps calling it. And you've got a small studio audience and then a big Zoom audience as well. So that's really clever. So you've got that that atmosphere in the studio. Well, yeah, we we it was better in week two, actually. So we've just done our second recording and it was better because the uh, in the first week, all the Zoom audience were on a sort of a monitor in the corner. You could The sound seemed to be coming from there. And this week they sort of rearranged it so it appeared to be coming... It was sort of, we were surrounded, really, this right. week. So, it, no, it sounded pretty good, I think. Oh, it's good. It's like surround sound. Is it different, <laughs> doing, is it different doing the show in these times? Do you think the humour's different in any way? Well, uh, it is, because, it, I mean, it's a very difficult time for everyone, isn't it? Yeah. But actually, you need to okay. sort of need to lighten the mood a bit, don't you, actually? Yeah. Um, and I think it's, it's very good for that. It feels... It feels completely normal when we're up there, actually, which is what surprised me. No, that's good. It's like a little respite. We need comedy more than ever mm. we did, that's for sure. 15 years it's been going. I hadn't realised that. And I've been watching all of the 15 years. Do you still get a little bit a little bit nervous? Because, you know, there's it's, it's a difficult show to do, I would imagine. Like, yeah, I always get nervous. When I, get, <laughs> I, get ner I get nervous about everything. I got, I've been nervous this morning about coming on this. And, uh, are you, do you not get nervous? I think Sometimes. it's slightly mad not to get nervous. Yeah, I think you do. Um, it depends who's on. <laughs> but, oh. <laughs> but sometimes not you you're a delight you're an absolute delight oh, well, but we do you. we do need we do need it right now to take our minds off of things that's been going on and how have you been generally have you been okay yeah i've been fine i mean lockdown was you know it's a very very difficult time for everyone isn't it but there are sort of positive aspects to it i, I started cycling like a maniac during uh, you know when we were locked down but allowed to exercise because i i sort of discovered that the I run a lot, but all the parks were absolutely full of people and the roads were completely empty. <laughs> so I just got on a bike and I mean, I'm, you know, I'm a cliche. I, I'm absolutely covered in Lycra and logos and I'm cycling very fast. And you think you're almost entirely invisible on a bike until every now and again someone stops and goes, hi, Hugh. <laughs> <laughs> Although, do you know very what? Embarrassing. I was so interested to find out, because we had your lovely Claire on the show from Outnumbered, of course, and, and yeah. the two of you are going out now. And she said, a, a shot appeared of you, it was when you were doing the ab sale with Dr Hillary, yeah. and she said, oh, oh, look, there's Peter. And I went, who? Yeah. Who? What? Who's Peter? <laughs> Who's is there someone else doing it? Because that's your yeah. view. I didn't know that was your view. <laughs> that's my real name, yeah. And it's my, I, but it's an equity thing, so I had to change my name sort of in my early 20s to Hugh. And my real name is Peter Hugh Dunn. So Hugh is my middle name. Right. And at that point, well, I think it's still true, you couldn't have two actors with the same name. So they were. Right. So there was already a Peter Dennis. Ah. But he was in his, I think he was in his 70s. I was in my 20s. And my agents wrote to Equity and said, look, could our Peter Dennis still be called Peter Dennis? And Equity wrote back and said, yeah, in normal circumstances, that would be fine. But... You've got a problem, which is that the other Peter Dennis is the chairman of the Equity Name Change Committee. Oh. So, <laughs> so there was that. <laughs> I, became, I became Hugh at that point. Yeah. It's strange. So who calls you Peter then? Just just really close pals and like your mum? Uh, yeah, my family. I mean, people who sort of I've known since childhood call me Peter. It's always um, this will no longer work now. I've told this story, but I can sort of judge people where they where they sort of fit in my life and what they call. Me. So if I'm in the street and someone calls Pete, I know generally that I I know them quite well, right? right. And right. I should recognise them. Of yeah. course, of course. And look, outnumbered. It was such a huge success. I loved the Christmas special a few years ago. I would really like to catch up with that family, that very dysfunctional but very relatable family. Do you think that is ever likely to happen? 
Uh, well, it's, it's not impossible, is it? I don't know. I don't think there are any particular uh, plans for it. But I would love to do another series or another, you know, Christmas special. Not not a special based around this Christmas, which doesn't no. look like it's going to be very um, you no. Know, it it doesn't uh, easy. Does it? No, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. It's going to be quite difficult. Are you are, are you going to manage to whittle it down to your five other people, including yeah. yourself? Yeah, I mean, you just you you just have to do what you're going to do, don't you? I mean, I do feel sorry for the shops as sort of having to reduce everything to work with, um, you know, groups of six and they're having to make turkeys smaller and you know sell individual Brussels sprouts and all that kind of stuff. I sort of I was thinking that the Christmas pudding though will still have to be, you know, the same or large because you can't put coins in it this year. You have to put in a card reader, and that they're really quite. <laughs> it's not going to be the same. They're quite large. It's definitely not going to be the same. <laughs> now look, Dr. Hillary's here, and I, and I was saying that oh, you did yeah. that amazing, amazing absolute. Hello, Dr. Hillary. Sure, when you <laughs> are able to, I mean, you two were like supermen. It was wonderful. Is there another challenge that you could both do when we're allowed? Yeah, no, but well, I have to be very careful what I agree to on this program. Really. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's not. I, found without... I love doing that. I did love the abset though, but what I liked about it most was, and I wasn't expecting because I hadn't thought about it, was as you came, come down the side of the hospital, the people in all the wards see you sort of bouncing past and wave at you. <laughs> Very disconcerting. I was ahead at this point. Look, that's very kind of you because I lost by about 300 feet at the end. I know, but you were neck and neck. Dr. Hillary was. I should have been wearing a suit, I think. That was my mistake. <laughs> You're going to do the BT great. Tower next. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's okay. round, isn't it? And there's a difficult bit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, think, I think when we're allowed, we shall find something because that was great. That was for the ambulance charity, wasn't that's it? That's right. Yeah, the air yeah, ambulance. It was. It, was a, it was a brilliant cause. Listen, thank you for joining us, Hugh Peter. Oh, well, you're I want to call you Peter now, but I'll call you Hugh. But thank well, you, you for joining you us. <laughs> and uh, Mock the Week is on tonight, 10 o'clock on BBC Two. Um, it's, a, it's a fantastic show. So we must make sure that we watch that because Peter is in it. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.